Hello, I'm Petr Vanya from Czech Technical University in Prague and I would like to introduce our new approach to finding a 3D Dubbins path. The problem of finding the shortest path in 3D is motivated by fixed wing area vehicles which have a limited turning radius and pitch angle. Therefore, we need to find a continuous curve that meets both constraints. 2D version of this problem is often referred to as the Dubbins path and there exists a solution based on closed form expression that makes it computationally very effective. However, finding 3D path is more challenging. In the literature, we can identify three different approaches how to tackle the problem in 3D. First, the geometrical approach connects two turn segments in 3D with a straight line. However, the pitch angle of the straight segment is not constrained and it leads to an unfeasible solution. In contrast, Dubbin's airplay model was designed for aircraft, so it considers the pitch angle constraint and inserts spiral segments when the altitude difference between endpoint is too large. However, the pitch angle is allowed to be changed abruptly. For some application, this simplified model may be sufficient, but here we want to find the shortest path without any discontinuities in the vehicle's direction. The last approach, called Real-Time Dynamics Dubbin's Helix, provides feasible 3D path that meet all the constraints. It's based on helix segments that are inserted to gain the required altitude. We use this method as a baseline for the proposed approach. An example of such path is shown as a red line together with the proposed 3D Dubbin's path in green. The proposed solution is based on the decoupled approach that splits the problem into the horizontal and vertical parts that are computed separately. The only connection between both parts is through turning radii that are, however, defined separately. When we combine both horizontal and vertical turns, turning radii need to be increased to meet the curvature constraint. Therefore, these radii are optimized to find a trade-off between the horizontal and vertical turns. Finally, both parts are combined to form the final 3D path. We can demonstrate the proposed idea in the following animation. First, we show the case when the minimum turning radius is applied for both horizontal and vertical parts. The horizontal part is computed first as Dubbin's path in 2D. Further, the length of the horizontal part is used and the vertical profile is computed also as 2D Dubbin's path. However, for the vertical profile, we need to check the pitch angle of the straight segment to be within the given interval. When the altitude difference is zero, the proposed approach has the same result as the Dubbin's path in 2D. Once the altitude difference is increased, both horizontal and vertical turns are applied at the same time and the curvature of the final path goes over the limit. Notice that the pitch angle constraint is not satisfied for large altitude differences using this naive approach. One possible solution to the curvature problem is to increase both turning radii by square root of 2. Although this solves the issue with the curvature, it also leads to an unnecessary prolongation of the path. Therefore, we propose to optimize the turning radii such that the overall path length is minimized. In the proposed method, the vertical turning radius is determined based on the horizontal radius. Thus, the problem is reduced to a single variable optimization of the horizontal radius. Here, we need to find a feasible solution first and thus the horizontal radius is iteratively increased until the path is long enough for the vertical part to gain the requested altitude. Once a feasible radius is found, it's further optimized locally to minimize the total path length. Usually, it converges to the minimum feasible value of the horizontal radius. When the endpoints are mutually close, the increase of the horizontal turning radius 
is more significant than four distant endpoints. These mutually close instances are called short in the literature. Although short instances may seem more challenging, the proposed algorithm is able to provide high quality solutions. An important contribution of the present paper is the proposed lower and upper bounds that are based on the same decoupled principle. The only difference is in the utilized turning radii. For the lower bound, the minimum horizontal radius needs to be determined based on the maximum value of pitch angle because it also influences the final curvature. The horizontal radius equals to the minimum turning radius in this case. Such a lower bound can be easily computed and provides quite tight estimate of the real solution cost. On the other hand, the turning radii are multiplied by the square root of 2 for the upper bound and it can be applied only if the endpoints are far enough. We have compared the proposed method with Dubin's helix approach for long and short instances proposed by the authors of the method. All the lengths are normalized by the best found solution and the proposed lower and upper bounds are also included if applicable. The proposed method finds the best solution in most of the cases and the results are close to the proposed lower bound, especially for the short instances. To conclude, we have proposed a novel heuristic algorithm that is able to find 3D Dubbin's path in only about 0.2 milliseconds using a single core of the conventional computer. The proposed solution also outperforms existing methods in the solution's quality for most of the cases and provided lower and upper bounds are very tight. Furthermore, the produced path contains fewer turns in the comparison to Dubbin's helix approach that is a side effect of decoupling the problem and may be beneficial in real applications. All the source codes are written in Julia language and are open sourced at GitHub. We also plan a Python version soon.